Hey, what's up, guys? It's James the Golden White here, back yet again with another video. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes, I have a lot. That's because I am making this video the same day I just made the current video that I just posted, if that made sense. Anyway, so back at this video. Here we go. This video is gonna about going to be about <laughs> um, binding and um, just about my whole structure and since I'm pretty how um it affects me and how um just everything and I'm also gonna be talking about packing and just um just everything just like what happens and how I feel about it and um how you might feel about it and if you guys are not doing it blah 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 what's the sudden yeah so here we go <laughs> um so we're gonna start off with binding binding is the process of the illusion of an F to M guy or a gender fluid um, person um, that doesn't want to um, have the the illusion of having breasts. They put um, a binder on which flattens their chest to make it look like they have a flat chest originally um, born by birth. Um, basically, a binder. Um, you can get anywhere, um, but they do not sell it out in stores, so you would have to order it um, or get it shipped to you or anywhere that you are currently from. The problem with that is, for some people, not for me because I'm, I'm already openly trans, but a problem for people that are not trans is, um, or not out as trans, is that um, you can't get it anywhere else. So you can't just walk to the store and get it. So basically, if you're not out and you, uh, you're like underage and you're a minor, um, say, for instance, and you're trying to get a binder and you're not out and you know your parents are not going to accept it, um, they're basically going to um, either see that you bought something um, or um, they're not going to accept it and they're not going to let you get it. So um, that's just, uh, that's the down of um, not coming out as trans and trying to get a binder um, if you're not out is just basically trying to hide everything um, it's very hard I tried it it doesn't really work you know they're gonna find out anyway if you are doing that only because you have to get it shipped to you and if your parents are the kind of pa parents that check everything that comes in the mail um, you're more you're most likely going to have to tell them anyway because they're gonna ask what that is and you there it's not going to be like um something that's like um like secure and like they can't see um it's kind of going to be like out in the open because um most like when i got my package it literally said g um gc2 gc2b binder and then it had a card and it showed like somebody wearing a binder and blah 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 and saying it's like you know what i mean so it's not that um secretive and exclusive so you got to be careful with that but like if you uh if you guys are um out in the open and you're openly trans um it won't be a problem it will be issue. It's just you can't buy it anywhere else except for online which sucks but that's just how you have to do it um so i'm wearing my binder right now i'm actually wearing an undershirt right now and i don't think you can see it but I'm wearing my binder right now. I got to get another one. But basically, this is what it looks like. Um, is it black? I got black because black goes with everything. Um, as you can see, it looks really well. Like, it works really well. Um, and it kind of just, like, makes everything flat. So, like, when I put my shirt on. Um, wait. When I put my shirt on and everything like that. Um, you can't really see it. You can't really see anything at all. Um, my chest looks really flat, and plus I wear a lot of hoodies, so you can't really tell at all that I um, would have breasts. Like, if you didn't know me, um, you wouldn't know, um, which is really good. It makes um, me have less dysphoria. I have really bad dysphoria when it comes to my chest. I hate, I hate, I hate knowing that I have breasts. Like, it just it bothers me so much, but um, I do something to myself that um, um, kind of forces me to um get used to it is i um this might seem weird but i take my shirt off um without anything on and um i just look at my my chest and um sometimes that's not good for me um so i don't do it all the time but when i'm feeling a little risky um i do it and it just helps me um tell me that like it shows me that 
um, what I don't like about it and what I do like about it. Um, I like the fact that, um, you know, like, yeah, it bothers me, but I like it because um, it shows me that I'm going through something that a lot of people don't go through and that I'm going to get through this um, process and that I'm not the only one going through it. Um, but yeah, it does bother me and that's why I wear a binder. Um, binders are not for everyone. And that's the thing that people think like once you're trans, you have to wear a binder. No, that's not the um, case. Some people um, um, medically, medically can't only because um, when you first wear a binder, people don't realize how tight it is. And um, okay, so like say you're a uh, size large in um, sports bras, you'd have to get a size medium because they run um, they run big and small. So like um, for me, like I'm, I'm size large in sports bras, so I had to get a medium so it would it would suction my boobs down you know um and that's the thing like if you have really bad asthma and um you're in school and you have gym um i remember the first time i wore my binder for the first day and i could not breathe because i have asthma but it wasn't that bad and i couldn't breathe and i had to do gym and it, it really hurt my ribs and um that's not for everybody and that's the thing that i'm saying like it's not for everybody um binders are not for everybody um because they're just really tight and um, some people don't like the fact that it shows this and I hate that it's the straps are big. Um, sometimes you can go on Amazon and get like a thinner strap one, but those don't really work as well as the GC2B and the Underworks one. They're a little bit more expensive, but they do work better just letting you know because I have one that's from Amazon and I can really tell the difference. One of the differences is that will personally for me, I guess I think I, I just wore it a lot more. But um, one of the differences is that um, GC2B binder um, does not have any um, clips or anything on it. Um, as you can see, um, it's just you pull it over your uh, body and it's going to be hard at first to pull it over your body. But once you get it over and you figure out a way to take it off, it's really easy. Um, you get used to it really fast if you wear it every day. But if you don't, it's going to kind of be harder. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at this story is that um, the difference is that um, the Amazon one usually has clips um, on it and they're a little bit more cheaper material. So they're going to stretch out faster. And that's a waste of money. I feel because like say, um, for instance, um, you're a minor, like I said, and this is your first time getting a binder. You don't and you don't have a lot of money. You don't want to be spending a lot of money either on something that's just going to get thrown away like that. So for me. I didn't know that they were like that. So it was my first binder ever and I got one with the clips on it. And um, basically it worked for a while. Like it really worked well. And then it stopped working and like, you could tell that like, you know, like it was, it was stretching out and it was really, really aggravating me because my ribs would hurt all the time and people wouldn't know why. And um, I couldn't go to the nurse because they'd be like, I'll take it off. It's dangerous, blah, blah, blah. You know, so, and nobody knew I was trans at the time either. So it was kind of like, I couldn't really, you know, tell anybody about it, but um, that's like the cons of it. It's gonna hurt your ribs sometimes. Um, but with the GC2B binder, the difference is that it doesn't have the clip, so it's not really gonna hurt your ribs as much. Yes, it's gonna be tight, but it's not gonna be tight to the point where like you can't breathe unless you got the wrong size and it's a little bit too small. And that's another thing. You don't want to get a binder that's way too small because that's not good either. Um, because if it's too small, all it's going to do is hurt you in the end and it's not going to be good for your ribs. And if you're planning on getting top surgery, it's not going to be good for your surgery because you can get broken ribs and everything like that. That's another thing. Do not bind with any bandages or duct tape. I tried it. It does not work. Also, all it's going to do is it's going to shift your ribs and it's going to hurt you more at the end. Um, and it's not worth it. I understand most of you trans guys just want to be, you know, regular dudes and you want to have a flat chest and you want to have the image of the flat chest but it's not worth killing yourself over it and hurting yourself at the end of the day um uh, when you can afford it and you can be yourself um yeah it's going to take time it might take time um but it's worth it at the end um to get the right binder because i i noticed a big transition with just getting the right binder and staying safe um okay with the packer um I'll probably, let me wait, let me see something. Okay, so if you guys don't want to see this video, um, please, 
please click off now. I'm going to show you my packer. Um, it's not because I'm trying to be sexual or anything, so please don't take it that way. But um, I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like and what Chance Guys got to buy. So um, I got mine at Rodeo. Um, like I said, if you're not out and um, you're a minor and you can't really get one because your parents check the packages, blah, blah, blah. This is not discreet, so please be careful because my mom found mine and took mine away because she was kind of freaked out about it. She's like, why do you have a silicone um, packer, packer, which is basically a silicone penis because that's the, that's the whole idea of um, a packer is to um, have the image of a bulge in your pants. Um, so my mom was kind of freaked out about it at first. So like if your parents are not accepting, I don't think you should get one from Rodeo just because, um, they're not, they're not discreet. So, um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of more neater, but it says uh, they give you it in, um, the underwear and then they give you the package, like the, the packer and a different thing, but I just put in both in one. So basically um, it says rodeo right here and it's very soft. It's very soft. The cloth is very soft um, and stuff like that. So, um, I got these, I got these underwear. Um, it says rodeo right here and it says, um, the size, the size is weird, really weird because the sizes are different and, um, you really like, if you know your guy sizes and pants, you, sh um, please. These are a little bit too small for me, but they, they fit perfectly now because you got to get them stretched out. But please do not try to go as small as you think you want to go. Um, try to just know your size and that will work perfectly fine. Um, and so if you guys do not want to see, once again, if you guys do not want to see a silicone penis, please click off because I this is not trying to be um, a joke. This is not trying to be funny. This is not even trying to be, um, you know, disgusting. It's it's a matter of um, respecting the trans community. And I'm trying to show um, examples of what um, trans guys need to buy and um, how it might help them. So please do not report this video or um, be rude about it. Um, if you have nothing nice to say, please don't say it at all. Um, and just click off if you really don't want to see it because I'm not trying to um, disrespect anybody, but I'm also not trying to um, not educate somebody on something, um, that will help them. So, um, here, mine is obviously my color or close to my color. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, so if you see this in real person, it looks really realistic. Um, it has like every picture. Um, and basically what this does. Okay. So it's very squishy. Um, I didn't really think that it was going to be squishy at first, but it really, it really is squishy. Um, so basically, um, there's a pouch right here and you kind of just put it in the, the, the thing and it kind of just does its work. Um, the thing about it is, is please, um, for any of you guys that are new at packing, please do not try to get a big packer because what I like, what I realized about this packer is that it was very heavy. Um, and that, it moved around a lot, um, and um, it takes a while just to get used to this small one. And this one is a 3.5. They have different lengths. They have a 5.5 inch and a 6.5 inch. And um, I think you guys, if you're just starting off, should get the smallest one you possibly can because this one is pretty heavy and it bounces around a lot. Um, but basically, that's the um, end of this video. I just wanted to let you know um, what I use personally, and I'll put the links down below. And, um, that can help you um, get a packer or whatever. But this one was from Rodeo. There's different kinds, so please do your research. Um, I'm planning on getting an STP, so when I get an STP, I'll probably show you that video too. Um, but I really just wanted to um, educate um, you on this, and I wanted to educate people that um, are just coming out as trans and don't really know about the trans community um, and what to use and everything like that. Because I had to figure everything out by myself, so I just want to help somebody just a little bit more. Like I said in the the previous um, question before I um, showed you my packer is please do not report this video. I understand that it's kind of weird and it's kind of not um, common um, if you're not really um, a part of the trans community, but please just respect um, the trans people and um, 
please do not report this video. All I'm trying to do is help somebody out that might not know what, um, what's out there. Um, and I'm just trying to educate people. And please do not make fun of this. And if you do, please just don't say anything at all, like I said um, before, because um, this is not a joke. This is not something that is um, something to laugh at, I feel. Um, it's very, it's a life for us, and um, it's something that we feel like we need to use because um, it, it makes us feel better about um, who we are. And some people can't go outside of the house without using a packer or wearing a binder. And particularly, that's me. I can't go outside without wearing a binder. I feel so disconnected from my body if I see my breast. Um, and it just saves my life every time. And it might seem stupid to some people, but this is really um, something that really helps um, us trans guys um, out when um, we feel like really dysphoric about our body. And um, I feel like this will help somebody else, um, just educating them a little bit more about what's out there. Anyway, thank you for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave um, questions down below and I'll answer them. Like I said, please do not report this video and please do not be rude if you have anything um, rude to say. Please just don't say it at all. And thank you for the respect and kindness that y'all have been giving me. Thanks for the support and love that y'all have been giving me. And I'll, I'll make a video on something else soon. Bye. Have a nice day and stay safe.